got stamped. BYB. I think I did this on every single quarter panel I changed. Full send for the boys? Yes, sir. Oh, I never thought it was this bad, honestly. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new, very exciting episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, lightly tap the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on that post notification, little bell ringing icon over there. Smash that like button, comment your thoughts and ideas, and comment BYB Squad if you guys are the day one true fans. And then don't forget to follow my Instagram at BYB Tim, follow Ed at BYB Ed, and let's get this episode rolling. This episode, what we're gonna be doing is changing this piece right here. Yes, I did a lot of hammering here, trying to get this out as much as you can um, because we were thinking to save it kind of ish and then we're like, dude, you know what? Screw it, it's literally destroyed. Well, we actually bought this piece, I'll show you separate. We were gonna change this piece regardless. It's right here, like this. Wait, yeah, wait, wait, like this. We are gonna change this piece regardless, so we ordered it and then we ended up ordering a full wheelhouse lining and I've never changed one of these, I've always repaired them and this piece came with this piece so it's right here same piece and then take a look at this watch this i just know i just i just noticed this so look at this this new one didn't come with this bolt right here right here look that's interesting that's stupid that's literally stupid we had to re-weld like what six of them onto the wheel tub yep. and it's super annoying so i'm happy this one has it put this put that there and what we're going to be doing is taking a look at that to see exactly how deep it goes under here because it overlaps under here we we'll drill everything through get this one out you know cut the seam sealer inside here remove this piece hopefully it's not as difficult as I think it is put that one in there paint it all and then transfer to the other side basically we're gonna prep both these sides here for the quarter panel so I'm super pumped, super excited. I went ahead and cut this glass out, but I'll show you guys how I cut the other one out. I do all this stuff at home with some simple tools. Maybe you guys can learn a thing or two or teach me a thing or two. We're gonna cut the rest of this quarter panel off here and here and here. Make sure it's all naked, repair this damage here and get this thing ready for a new quarter panel. So by the end of this episode, that's probably the goal. We got the diff on, not the diff, sorry, the suspension assembly on, the subframe and all that in the last episode, but we're not tightening that up just yet, just in case we need to do something. For example, you know, we're cutting something here on the other side, we're repairing this uh, wheel arc lining and this is super in the way or something. So we can drop it back down, get it out of the way, get it fixed up. That's kind of why I mocked it up. With that being said, let's get right into it, boys. I'm super pumped, super excited. I'm ready to get this thing on the road and driving and painted and assembled and completed and sold. I'm just kidding, but yeah, let's get it.
you know what? We might have to cut this a little higher in. It depends how high this piece goes, but we need to section this at least a little bit, bend it back or something. Yeah, I need to figure something out because I need to get under here. This piece goes under. I can see the rivets right there. Well, actually there's holes. I might be able to just drill it out and slide it out, dude. I'm not sure. See that? Like little mm -hmm. holes in there. Full send for the boys? Yes, sir. <laughs> the boys wanted it. You gotta feed the fans, you know. <laughs> Look at those lines at it. <laughs> wings at the Buffalo Wild Wings and um, now we're just gonna continue drilling this so the reason why I cut this whole thing off is because I can get access inside here with my chisel get all the spot welds out because I'm trying to pull this out of here and then I don't know how it's gonna come back in here we'll see because there's like this is on top of this and then inside it's kind of like layered like here here it's like it's layered very awkwardly, so we're gonna go ahead and slide it. We're gonna try and slide it right perfect into its position. Hopefully, I don't have to really bend that piece up anyhow. I hope I can just, just put it in there like this, and it should be solid. I think so. I think it'll work out. My first time changing this. Just like that. Just like that. It's not a problem. Let's do it. So I'm gonna give you guys a progress update. Peeled that out of there, it was a much longer piece. That piece up there, I had to unbend because there's spot welds under here. I'm sweating, guys. This is some hardcore work and it's like probably 80 degrees outside. Um, this is a zoom lens on here, but that focuses. You guys can check me out. Well, yeah, we're almost done. In theory, be the moment of truth here. If we can wiggle this out of here, should be able to. Probably should get some gloves. This thing is looking pretty crazy. That's it. Yes! We finally got this junk out of here. Woo! Time to clean all this up, fix up all the damage that I've done. Like this little thing around here. You know, I actually didn't do much damage, but we got to clean up all these little spot welds. 
and then put the new one in, weld it in, fold it, fold it, fold it, and reassemble this whole junk. Let's freaking do it, I'm excited. Guys, this looks absolutely insane. I did wanna um, test fit this right here, just to make sure it fits. I wanna see if I can even slide it in there. Like, in theory it should slide right in there, but we'll see. Uh oh, will it fit? Is this even the right part? Go behind there. Oh. Is it on? Almost looks like it. Almost looks like it. Let me see. I think so. <laughs> yeah? We're not up high enough. I think it's gotta go a little up. A little bit up. See that right there? Mm hmm. That and then you see the holes are not lining up there. Let's see if I can. Oh, is it going up? Look at that, dude. On the money, bro. Literally perfect. Oh, I guess we can just thread that there, right there, so it wouldn't fall off for now. A good chunk of work right there. Everything lined up, though. We're gonna have to go ahead and pull this piece back off, prep everything. Like I said earlier, repair some of the pieces, which I already did repair that right there, so that's fine. Oops. Um, but yeah, stood right in his place. And guys, this is so much easier, you know? Um, this is so much easier than repairing this. Why? Because it was just so banged up. It was so destroyed, you know? Ideally, I wouldn't want to change it just because it's so much work, but. I was thinking about not changing it and then I thought about it. I'm like, dude, we're freaking backyard boys. Like, we gotta get this thing changed out because it's gotta be a perfect car. So, we gotta change it out. We're not gonna weld it on just yet in this episode. What we gotta do before anything is cut that quarter panel off and then have both the quarter panels off and then test fit the quarter panels just so we can get show you guys some footage. Because before I weld this on, I need to fold this back down. I need to cut the rest of this quarter panel off. I need to test fit the quarter panels and then I can only start welding, making sure that everything lines up. But for now, let's go cut out that passenger side window. Cut it out, it's kind of annoying. I don't have the proper tools, but still works. So let's go cut that out and then start drilling at that quarter panel. All right, so right now what we're gonna be doing is pulling out of this glass here. And um, basically after we pull this glass out, what we're gonna do is just cut this quarter panel like this, kind of just like a rough cut and see how bad this thing is damaged. It looks pretty mangled up. I didn't really catch that. So I'm kind of <clears throat> about that. Hopefully I can fix it. For the most part, it looks straight like all up in here, but back here is kind of beat. And then I looked at the new quarter panel we have. It, doesn't, it didn't come with this inside piece. So uh, let's go ahead and roughly cut this thing out and see if we can fix it. I'm kind of a little bit scared. So we gotta get this thing first though. A lot of these are on clips. A lot of these are on screws talk about this molding up here and a lot of them are on rivets and this one here is on rivets this one here is on rivets you got to pull back this seal here and you reveal some rivets and what do we do with these drill them out and then let me show you guys right here so there's a little split this right here is where it splits the rest of this molding comes off with the window this piece here slides out and this molding comes off. I'll show you guys here shortly. You know why? Okay. See what I'm talking about? Clips and then a little slide in. I'm gonna leave this up here for now. Now we can cut this out. So first things first, as this thing's in the way, it's on double tape, so we're gonna go ahead and Cut this a little bit out of the way. Right. That can be inside there. And then this little homemade thingy, but it works, so. I'm gonna slide her in there. And we're gonna cut. So we're gonna cut. Yes, we scratched the tent, but that's pretty typical. 
We're probably gonna retint the whole entire car either way. Or maybe not. <laughs> I guess we only scratched that window. It's the only one that we scratched. But besides that, we got the window out, guys. Round of applause, because I hate these quarter windows. They're so annoying. BYB. I think I did this on every single quarter panel I changed. Quarter panel. This piece here is for sale for um, $500, whoever wants to buy it. This piece, three hundred dollars since it's more damaged. It'll be signed too. <laughs> oh, I never thought it was this bad. Honestly, I saw it under it was pretty mangled up, but look at that. This right here is gonna need a pretty good pull. And you know what, we cannot wait for this part. We literally cannot wait. It's just been way too long, so we're gonna have to fix it. Catch you guys tomorrow with a better update. So it is the next morning here, and I went ahead and took a closer look, peeled some of this stuff out of the way, and we have a little bit of damage here. Um, you guys can see we got some damage up here. This piece here needs to be pulled back out, and then this whole little bin-like thing needs to be pulled as, as well. It's not too rough, so we're good with that. I went ahead and brought this arm back onto this side here, and we're just gonna go ahead and give this thing a couple of good pulls, get this thing decently pulled out to a point where we don't need that anymore, and then we're doll hammer and dolly the rest of the stuff. So let's get this done. I never knew it was pushed in this bad. Maybe it was my mistake for not taking a good look at it, but you know, this will come right out. This should be easy. But trying to get this thing perfectly shaped might be a little bit annoying. Why? Because kinks like this. The metal likes to stretch there. And once the metal is stretched, now you gotta find a place for it to go for when the new quarter panel lays over this so it properly fits right over this seam. But we'll get it done. We'll figure it out. big deep creases here here that's my goal to get that all out because once those are out I can do the rest with my hammer and dolly
nice, it didn't rip. Look at that. Yo, this is absolutely crazy, but one more banging episode of a ton of work. We got this thing mocked up. And then before, you know, before going any further on this side, what we decided to do was go on that side and we ran into a little issue as you guys saw earlier, but we're happy that we got the majority of it addressed. So what I mean by that is we got this box fixed up. You guys saw that there's some massive damage here. It's looking great now, it's all flat. Uh, it's all flat, this is flat, it's looking good. So I'm happy with this. Once the new quarter panel gets welded on, we'll see exactly where this needs to go. But I'm not too satisfied with this. I'm fine with this up here, but this area here is kind of triggering me. And I'm not sure what to do because I'm at a point where I'm kind of left in a pickle. Meaning uh, if we order one and they don't have any in US, then it's gonna take another probably three weeks to come. We literally can't wait. Um, that's the first thing. If it's in US, I probably could wait because it probably take us like about a week to get it. So we'll work on that side, we'll work on suspension, we'll work on a couple of things, and then in the mix, you know, we'll get this piece and we're gonna go ahead and pull it out like we did on that side and it's just gonna give us another uh, couple of days of work. But I'm thinking right now, if I can hammer and dolly this long enough, get it to look clean, undercoat it, you know, seam seal everything, and if it looks fine, the quarter panel fits on here, then that's gonna be an exception I'll make for this side. But anyways, we will figure that out with time being, but I did wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching these videos to the very end. If you guys are still here, comment BYB Squad, still here. Thank you guys for all the love and support. If you guys enjoy the content, smash that like button. If you guys do enjoy uh, my channel, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram at BYB Tim. Follow Ed at BYB Ed. And we're here to send you guys some more content every single week, two, three videos. Enjoy. Next one's the best one. Peace out.